Okay, let's, uh, I'll try to narrate the film while I'll sit here. Now these were the posters that every barn and everything around the Southern Alameda County had these big uh, colorful posters. Sesquicentennial celebration, <laughs> continuous festival, dancers, coronation ball, spectacular and so on. Memorial Day, May 30th, and Saturday and Sunday, May 31st and June 1st. See the Build We Here mission, directed by Glass. The dollar was the admission charge, believe it or not, one dollar. <laughs> and we had over 5,000 people see the pageant. Now we'll start, I think, soon with the setting itself. This is the Washington Township uh, band that played, and this is Wesley Gordon in a brown uh, uh, habit of uh, the church, and here's a microphone, and this is where he reads the narration. Wes, you don't show your bald head. No, <laughs> Here came the Indians, and they're looking down toward the bay, and they see all these strange horses coming through for some reason, and they're trying to explain. Now, we couldn't show them like Indians, because in those days you didn't have nudity on the stage, so we had to put little uh, breech cloths around the kids. I think one of the Connolly boys was in it. Here come the troopers with their soldiers, and here they are uh, looking over a bower in which they've decided to raise the cross in front of this bower and to uh, bless the land, pick up the dirt as they did. Here I am on a bay horse <laughs> doing my uh, narration, and there's an automobile right in back of it. And here, we come out. here come the rest of the horses. You see the rest of the Mission San Jose Hill up and back? And they are coming on, uh, bringing... Now, here comes the Padre. She had a very reluctant burrow, and uh, Stoney Mayock is trying to get the burrows to go. Finally, he says, oh, the heck with it. I'll get off and walk the rest of the life. <laughs> and and uh, here we have the horseman, and he's going into to do the ceremonies to found Mission San Jose. There he is, the uh, head of the Escolta, the guard, going down to greet the missionary and to bring him over in front to, uh, of course we can't hear the dialogue, but we do have it preserved. This is the traditional bower uh, in which they raise the cross. Here he is giving the blessing. And then you'll see to the right uh, the soldiers of the Escolta. And then soon I think you'll see this pot of, uh, of powder blow up in my face. <laughs> but this is Bristow. Did any of you knew him, uh, you'll realize what a great uh, character he was in community. Where Here's the pot of uh, powder. I unfortunately took off my hat. I should have left it on. <laughs> and here are the Indians wondering what's going on there. So they're skulking and kind of coming up through the underbar. There it went, and I raised the, and I proclaimed this, and the Indians all scurry off into the woods. And we say, this is officially now dedicated as Mission San Jose. Now we go on to section two. There's Harry Chesery in the audience that I'm bringing the mission bill. I'm bringing the Indians to uh, the uh, ceremonies, and they're singing a religious hymn of the time that we copied from the Bancroft Library at Berkeley. And they're making their entrance from their barracks. You know, all the maidens lived in barracks alongside the mission church and then go on in for their morning. Uh, this must be evening because they have candles. So it must be the evening prayer. And the neophyte men around. This is uh, Ross, I think, uh, was one of the characters. Here's Harry again talking to Ross. And they're arguing. And he's telling the story here about uh, how many of the mission there. And he says, hey, there's some trouble at one of the mission uh, villages nearby, in the Indian village. Will you, Father, come with me to uh, treat the sick, the sick? And so they've gone out to the mission, Father Cutter Della Puebla. And at the same time, in come some people, and, and the, the man says, gee, we were ambushed outside in Mission Pass, and we were hit with arrows, and here comes the, the wounded priest, Tesserie going into the hospital. <laughs> there is Ed Rose in the background with the black uh, uniform on, and they're vowing vengeance that they'll go out and get those ready for the Harry was a good actor. <laughs> so there we go. Now we go to scene three. 
<laughs> and here we have all the different things, the spinning and the weaving and the making of adobes and the cooking pots and the uh, weaving. See, here she's grinding in a matat, matali, the corn. And we're getting ready for a big festival, which will be the marriage of uh, Senor Higuera to, uh, to Mr. Livermore, uh, daughter of the Higuera. Here we have Father Duran with his with his clarinets and cornet band. And here comes Marlon Haley as, uh, as uh, Jedediah Smith, the American trapper. And he comes in and asks permission to trans, grant, trans uh, go across the lands of the mission. But uh, the Padre in charge says, no, we won't let Americans in. This is Spanish style. I'm sorry the government regulations doesn't permit this. And Senor, you're now under arrest. So they grab him and put him in the calaboose. He stays there for about five weeks before he's uh, out. But Marlon says, I have influential friends down in Monterey, and they'll get me out. So even though he goes into the calaboose, he's ransomed. Now here comes the pageant. The, this is the older women from the Livermore Rancho in their carettas carried, pulled by the family. And in back rides the bride and the bridegroom, and then the kids all dancing as they arrive at Mission San Jose for the wedding ceremony. Here come some more of the enterprise. These are the little kids from the palm. Here is the the, uh, the uh, three duenas, you know, the older women who uh, accompany the bride. And she's riding in front of her father. Mr. Higuera is uh, in front of the Palomino. These were furnished by Guzan at Hidden Ranch, uh, Dude Ranch, and they were really beautiful stock. We had wonderful livestock at the pageant. This is a Livermore daughter, actually, the granddaughter. Mm -hmm. There they are getting their outfits ready, and there is the handsome bridegroom, and they're going into the church for the wedding. Now here were some of the pageantry, some of the dances. This is Jerry Manise, and these are the little kids from the Palms, and you'll see about uh, quite a bit. This is while the wedding ceremony is going on. We had to fill in, so we had songs and guitar music and the rest of it as the wedding party goes in. They let Jedediah Smith out to wander around, and of course, in his diary, he refers to this wedding. Here comes Walt Connolly and his bag of goodies. He puts it down next to the horse dropping. I don't know why, but we always kidded him about why didn't he go about six feet farther instead of right there. And now, after the wedding ceremony, the kids with their little balloons are singing and dancing as they go around. And then at this time, Walt Connolly, as the Yankee trader, comes over and says, uh, let me take advantage of this gathering to show you my beautiful silks from Boston and my European uh, uh, produce and my hardware and so on. So he opens up his bag of, of uh, merchandise. There you have the hat dance. And we, we had a lot of fun. We were all amateurs and we all enjoyed the pageantry and had a lot of fun. A lot of joy. The whole thing, even the wonderful reception at the Gallegos home for several hundred old-time families was a great performance. The, the parade was one of the finest Mission San Jose's ever had. Look at the little girl trying to emulate her teacher. And here we have the cross uh, planted in front of the, the mission itself, which would be where the road was. There's your boy, isn't it? Yeah, your son. John. Yeah, with the big hat on, Conley. Yeah. Uh -huh. John Conley. <laughs> right. Some of you may recognize some of your neighbors and friends from down here. Here's Walt. Now he's taking out all of the <laughs> serapes and Marlon Hayes is getting a lot of help. <laughs> and now the women are coming in and looking at the uh, at the stuff uh, Conley's showing them because they don't see. Uh, trade goods like this very often. They all want uh, the cloth for mantillas and so on. Now these are the Irvington Square Dancers, all in Mexican costume doing Mexican dance. And there's Ed Rose doing a little more modern dancing. <laughs> Out of character, but at least busy. Here's Walt. He's telling these folks what great bargains he's got. Look at that. Always a salesman, Walt. <laughs> Very beautiful girl, I recall, this uh, lead dancer. I forget her name. 
There's another lead dancer, Jerry Manise from Hayward, that we'll see a little bit later. Here are the kids from uh, Common. Another lead dancer. I'm surprised that these, uh, here's Walt doing a little dance with the lead dancer. You know, uh, I'm surprised that these film, the film kept their color as well as they did after 30 years, and that was in the early days of colored film. We didn't, weren't so sophisticated as we were then. It was dancing all over the stage. This was just this uh, dirt stage with a railing in front of it and all the seats up and back, and then one big set, which we focused in certain parts of the set. Here was the bride and bridegroom leaving the scene. You know, she came in on the horse in front of her father. She goes out in front of, on the horse of her bridegroom, which was a tradition in the Mexican days. This is a girl, and her husband went down to Mexico City to uh, participate in the beginning of the De Anza trek here about two months ago, one of the Livermore daughters. Now here's a new scene, and this one is the secularization. They're posting the bulletin that says, from now on, this will no longer be a religious organization, it will be taken over by the government under Vallejo. And here are the officials and some of the Spanish uh, rancheros that are coming to plead with the governor and saying, why don't we leave Mission San Jose? What are these Indians going to do when we sectorize them? They will all uh, be impoverished, they won't be able to live, and you're taking away a life away from them. And the priest, of course, uh, resents very much. You see, this is the Mexican flag now, has been raised as the independence of Mexico in 1821. And there we have Gordon Shriver as the Padre giving his laugh. This is the Stanislaw, the famous Indian uh, uh, alcalde in front. And he is the man that they named uh, Stanislaw County and Stanislaw River. He was the great one. Now we're in the intermission, and this is some of the uh, school kids uh, entertaining with accordion background between the two halves. Now we start in on the new scene, and here we have uh, these uh, coming of, of uh, Kit Carson during the, re the re war between Mexico and the United States, and here's the scout Kit Carson with his Indian Braves, the Delawares that were his scout. And uh, he is uh, looking over this mission, and here comes John C. Fremont and the officers uh, of his party when he stayed camped here to gather a bunch of horses from the ranchero to take down south. Down comes the Mexican flag, up goes the American flag, 1846, when Mission Jose was taken over by the Americans. Now we go on to the next scene, and here we have the Mission San Jose and all of its old abandoned buildings were used for stores. We have Callum Bay, who later had his big spa hotel at Mission at Warren Spring, and then H.C. Smith. Here you have him, uh, the storekeeper. He became the assemblyman that got the county. Here was uh, Henry Smith, general merchandise and hardware. Here you have the Americans, the Horners, and the Stivers, and the Maoris, and the uh, Chadbirds, and the the uh, Grangers from uh, Alvarado, all of them. Here come some prospectors in from the gold mines. That uh, saddlebag turned over there in the corner. We had a lot of fun because all things happen in this sort of a deal. Now here we have the Alameda County Courthouse at Alvarado. Smith and Church were the proprietor of the stores on the bottom, and upstairs were the county courthouse. And here we have the arrival of the Pioneer Stage at the County Courthouse, and that from it get out a lot of politicians from San Jose and some of the San Leandro Estudios, and they're going to uh, attend the session of the first County Courthouse meeting down at, uh, at New Haven. That was an authentic stagecoach, and Mr. Guzan and his team part of the deal. We have the stagecoach on its way towards San Jose from Oakland. And now they're telling about this uh, great new county of Alameda and how we're opening, formally dedicating the offices. Uh, come on, boys, I'll set it up with a bar up on the second floor before we start the court of sessions. This was in 1852, Alvarado. Now here's the final scene, and here we have Pop Gould 
Principal of Washington Township and playing the part of Archbishop Reardon, 1897, which was the 100th anniversary of Mission San Jose. And then as the final part of the pageant, we pan around to all the different parts of the cast as the bishop takes his place in Mission San Jose, no longer a mission. And then we end up with all the people in the pageant. There are about 125 in the cast, plus dancers and singers. And then we have a final freeze against the background of the mission with three of the old Padres, De La Cueva, Duran, and all the rest of them up on the top making a freeze. And remember these, we said. These are the people who really colonized California and made it into the state. And then gradually the cast left. And here I am. And we call this a quartet of jackasses. Of course, I have to be a ham all the way through. And this is the end of our little film presentation. Remember, this is an amateur film. We took it for our own pleasure. And it has been almost 30 years sitting in my library, and I forgot that we even have it.